So then my friends, we have seen how we can create pages and routes in our application using file names and folder names. And all of these routes are fixed routes. The paths are definite as defined by the name of the files and the folders. But what if we need routes whereby a part of it is changeable, but we still wanna show the same component. For example, we could have a product details page where the path to that page is forward slash products. So it would be inside this folder and then forward slash the ID of whatever product we wanna see. And for every product, the ID part of the route would change. But for every product, we still wanna show the same product details component, right? And in that component then, only the product data would change dependent on the ID in the route, but the actual structure of the page would be the same. So we'd use the same component for each of the products and just change the data inside it. So ultimately, we wanna make a page component, which is gonna be shown for all of those different route parameters, all of those different IDs. And the way we do that is we make a file and the name is gonna be wrapped in square brackets. And then the name we give it should represent what the route parameter actually is. Now you can call it what you want, but in our case, the changeable part of our route is gonna be a product ID, isn't it? So I'm gonna call this ID inside square brackets. So now this component is gonna be shown when we visit forward slash products and then forward slash some kind of ID. And that ID could be anything. It could be one, two, three, four, five, six, or a string like Mario or Yoshi. This file will pick up all of those route variations because we've used these square brackets right here as part of the file name. And that signifies that this part of the route is changeable, a route parameter. So then now, whether we go to forward slash products one, two, three, or forward slash products nine, eight, seven, whatever that ID is, we're gonna show this component, right? And we can capture that ID inside this component by using the use route composable function. So I'm gonna show you how we can do that right now. So first of all, let me just flesh out this component. So let me click on this one. And then what we'll do inside the template, first of all, is just a paragraph tag that says product details for, and then what I want to do is output as a variable, so double curly braces, the route ID, so that ID part of the route. So how do we access that? Well, we need to go down to the script and then we can say const and we're gonna destructure something from the use route composable and then from that, say dot params to get the route parameters. So this is gonna be basically a bunch of different route parameters from within the current URL. And we wanna grab one of them. Now the one we wanna grab is the ID. So we can say in here, ID. Now this thing right here, this name must match whatever you've called it over here because that's what Nuxt thinks the route parameter is called based on the file name. So now we have access to that ID and we can just output it right here in the template. Simple, right? So I'm just gonna go down here and type another paragraph tag and add some lorem ipsum just to fill out the page and then press on save. Then let's give this a whirl. All right then, so in a browser, if we go to forward slash products and then forward slash some kind of ID, so I'll say one, two, three, then we can see product details for one, two, three. So we've captured that route parameter. And like I said, this could be anything. So 985, and it should output 985 right here. If we go to something like Mario, and press enter, then we output Mario. However, if we go to forward slash Mario, forward slash something else like ABC, this is not gonna work. This is now no longer matching that route that we created because we have another forward slash right here. So it's only if it's something like this, but this part can be anything it wants to be. We could just add in a lot of random rubbish right here and it picks up that route parameter. Now, like I said, later, this is gonna be the product ID of the product details that we wanna show on this page. And then we can use that ID in this component to go out and fetch data from some kind of API to then show that data on this page.